I'm Jeff Paul. I'm a local filmmaker here in Ottawa. Corey Burke. I'm an actor. I'm based out of Ottawa. So my name is Michael Horgan. Um, I'm a writer filmmaker. You know, the, the contribution that Digi60 makes to the local film industry is, is huge. For starters, it brings everybody together. Just like a lot of artistic efforts, it can be very isolating. And by bringing people together, uh, you find out who's in your community and uh, you can find a lot of solidarity in that. Yeah, I think Digi60 has helped. Um, I see more and more filmmakers popping up all the time. A lot of young people, uh, even older people jumping in late in the game. And uh, yeah, I know without festivals like this, uh, I find that people would just sit there and make these little films that they may throw up on YouTube or something that don't really get noticed. I think Digi60 is a way to kind of help emerging filmmakers connect them with established filmmakers who sometimes act as mentors. So some of the projects I've been involved with as a producer, I've actually been more of a mentor for another filmmaker who's perhaps doing their first Digi60 film or any other project for that matter. So I think there is a notion that you kind of graduate from Digi60, but there's always something pulling you back in. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think putting a 60-day time limit on things helps a lot. You know, there's nothing uh, that filmmakers, producers, actors love more than to procrastinate. And uh, you put a deadline in front of them and people respond. I like the 60 days. I think most people should put about half of it into the story, developing it. And I think at day 31, you should be filming, shooting. To give yourself time for uh, reshoots, changes, editing. I think the first uh, Digi60 I participated in was in 2008. Uh, I was still in college and I was approached by Lisa Muser, a local filmmaker, and she wanted me to shoot her project because Digi60, I hadn't known about it at the time, but that was the first year Digi60 opened it up so any filmmaker could submit. And uh, the catch, I like Digi's catches because they're simplistic, which is good. It's that way when we're watching the films together, it's not like we're watching the same movie over and over again. The catches are pretty uh, easy to interpret in different ways, so you're not watching people say the same things over and over again or do the same things. Well, right off the bat, it showed me that you don't have to move a mountain in order to make a movie. I think the, the main thing going for festivals like Digi60 is forcing the local community to kind of get together and work towards a common goal. Most of the people I collaborate with now, I met in some form through Digi60, either working on their projects or seeing a film at Digi60 and thinking, oh, I should chat with that filmmaker. I think Ottawa is uh, in a unique position. I think that uh, from the mid-90s, the productions that started to come here fueled experience and uh, let people know that it can be done here. 